the Danish government has given the green light to the construction of a huge artificial island in the North Sea on an area equal to 18 soccer fields, 120,000 square meters. The island will accommodate 200 wind turbines capable of providing electricity to 3 million households. This is the largest construction project in Denmark's history, estimated at $34 billion. The island will be jointly owned by the government and the private sector. Its size could triple in the future, it is assumed that the island will also supply electricity to neighboring countries, although the list of these countries has not been disclosed yet. However, Professor Jacob Ostergaard from the Technical University of Denmark mentioned potential partners in an interview with the BBC, including the United Kingdom, Germany, and the Netherlands. Today, we will tell you about one of the most ambitious mega projects in Denmark's history. Let's get started. It is expected that in the first phase of the project, about 200 wind turbines with a total capacity of 3 gigawatts will be installed. Once completed, the Energy Island Hub in the North Sea will reach a capacity of 10 gigawatts and will be able to cover the consumption of 10 million European households. This means that the hub will also be able to provide energy to neighboring European countries. And excess electricity can be stored in the island's large batteries for use during periods of high demand. For a comparison of the scale, Denmark's offshore hub's capacity is far larger than the largest wind power station in the United States, the Alta Wind Energy Center in California, which has a capacity of 1.5 gigawatts. The huge wind farm will also produce hydrogen for use in industry and transportation. According to Denmark's Climate Act, the country aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 70% compared to 1990 levels in the next 10 years and achieve a net zero level of greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. In December last year, Copenhagen announced the cessation of oil and gas exploration on its part of the North Sea seabed. The Minister of Energy, Dan Jorgensen, said the country was simply changing the map. This is gigantic, Professor Ostergaard told the BBC. It's the next big step for the Danish wind turbine industry. We were leading on land, then we took the step offshore and now we are taking the step with energy islands. So it'll keep the Danish industry in a pioneering position. The idea has gained support from Danish politicians of all stripes. What began as a fantasy is now being brought to life. The environmental group Danish Energy welcomed the beginning of dream realization, but expressed doubt that the island would be ready by 2033 as planned. Another similar but smaller island is planned to be constructed off the coast of Bornholm in the Baltic Sea to the east of mainland Denmark. Agreements have already been signed for the energy produced there to be supplied to Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Last November, the European Union announced a plan to increase electricity generation from offshore wind turbines by five times by 2030 and 25 times by 2050. The total capacity of offshore wind generators in the European Union is 12 gigawatts, of which Denmark accounts for 1.7 gigawatts. The North Sea Island is designed for 3 gigawatts, while the island near Bornholm is designed for 2 gigawatts. The exact location of the large island has not been disclosed yet. Only an approximate distance from the shore of 80 kilometers is known. Danish television reported that the state energy agency has preliminarily selected two locations to the west of the Jutland Peninsula, and in both places, the sea depth measures 26 to 27 meters. However, after the bill was passed, a mass protest took place outside the parliament building in Copenhagen. Protesters were against the island construction. Environmental activists took the matter to the European court, believing that the project would harm the city's ecology, particularly by increasing transportation flow. Estimates suggest that up to 350 truck trips per day will be needed to transport materials to the project site. Furthermore, environmentalists are concerned about the movement of sediment, solid particles carried by water or air currents, into the sea and their potential impact on the local ecosystem and water quality. Denmark has always been a global leader in the field of renewable energy sources. In 1991, they built their first offshore wind farm, and currently wind energy accounts for 48.6% of the country's energy production. The ambitious new project involves building an island off the coast of Denmark to house 200 giant wind turbines. The construction project is the largest in Denmark's history and one of the largest in the world. The Danish Energy Agency has described the project as green power plants at sea, directly connecting wind turbines to electrical grids to supply power to at least 5 million homes in the initial stage, with the potential for doubling the number in the future. This radical vision will benefit not only Denmark, but also neighboring European countries. It is quite possible that the United Kingdom could also become a beneficiary of this green future. 
The project is also a potential blueprint for other coastal nations to develop their own green energy sources. It's in Danish waters, yes, but it could conceptually be in any other country, said Peter Larsen of the North Sea Wind Power Hub program. It is expected that the two energy islands will be built and connected by no later than 2030, but several energy companies have announced that an earlier completion date is entirely feasible. Once completed, the island will generate 5 to 6 gigawatts of energy. For comparison, producing 3 gigawatts of energy requires more than 1 million solar panels. This green energy can be used in shipping, aviation, industry, and heavy transport. Projects like these are critical for our future and for ending our dependence on fossil fuels. Professor and head of the Wind Energy Department at the Technical University of Denmark, Jacob Ostergaard, referred to this project as a completely new type of energy system, as reported by Business Insider. The article emphasized that it will allow Europe to get rid of its dependence on fossil fuels. The project itself signals a new comprehensive approach to renewable energy production. The artificial island will be located in the North Sea, 100 kilometers from mainland Denmark. The new mega island will host latest high voltage equipment for collecting and converting alternating current into direct current. This will allow energy to be transmitted over much longer distances. The authors noted that the construction of the island was initially projected to cost about $28 billion, but the cost later increased to $34 billion. The island itself consists of a central hub made of steel, concrete, and sand, surrounded by a series of platforms and wind turbines. It is likely that short-term accommodation for workers will also be provided on the island. The island is home to 39,000 people, 85% of whom support such a project. It will consist of a transformer station on the south side and a network of wind turbines. Most traditional offshore wind farms transmit electricity directly to the mainland. While grid connections have facilitated some cross-border electricity trading, opportunities for sharing wind energy between countries are limited. This means that excess wind energy can sometimes go to waste, the material states. Hans Storm Edelfsen, director of Energy Islands at the Danish electricity operator Energen, which manages the project, said Energy Islands will be innovative technology steps in the competition for an integrated high-voltage power system in the North and Baltic Seas. As previously noted, Energy Islands can produce green hydrogen for heavy industry aviation and shipping. This is particularly relevant for the island of Bornholm, through which about 60,000 ships pass annually. Moreover, hydrogen can be transported through pipelines on the seabed. A consortium comprising three of Denmark's largest pension and energy companies, Pension Denmark, PFA and Andel, is prepared to finance and operate the Energy Island in the North Sea. The consortium partners possess significant financing experience and are ready to initially invest $50 million in the energy project's development. As a result, the creation of the Energy Island in the North Sea can be fully funded without government involvement. In the future, if the green transition is successful, society's energy supply will be covered by renewable energy sources. Andel takes responsibility for the development of the Danish energy system. We have already participated in experimental energy storage projects, says Jesper Holman, CEO of Almut. The offshore wind island in the North Sea has global potential. That's why we at PFA are ready to join our consortium partners in raising this historic project, thus ensuring that the savings of 1.3 million PFA clients will be used to provide a qualitatively new level of service, says Kasper Arn Lorenzen, IT director of PFA Pension. Copenhagen Infrastructure Partners, one of the world's leading companies investing in green infrastructure with significant experience in implementing large offshore projects worldwide, will also participate in the project. Dan Jorgensen, Denmark's climate minister, declared that this plan is also a top priority to eliminate dependency on Russian fossil fuel sources. Denmark and Europe must get rid of Russian fossil fuels as soon as possible, he said. As of 2022, Russian coal, oil, and gas exports to Denmark were valued at $4.5 billion. This mega project can truly be considered one of the most ambitious in global history. No country has dared to take such a radical step towards achieving energy independence before. Denmark looks set to make wind farm history again after building a unique artificial island. Let us know what you think about Denmark's new 34 billion mega project in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.